guys, do it on a dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some super quick linen closet and bathroom organizing tips. Some of my favorite videos on YouTube are transformed spaces. So I went to my friend's house to help her with her linen closet. And I think like a lot of people, she was really struggling with those wire shelves. They are so annoying and it was so hard to get to things. And I don't know about you guys, but linen closets are so stressful to keep organized. Nobody's got time for that. So here are some quick tips that really work. Linen closets tend to be narrow. So my first bin recommendation is actually this one from the Dollar Tree. It's pretty flexible. This is great for washcloths, extra toiletries, and I love using white in the linen closet just because it looks so crisp and fresh. And we also took some bins that she already had with this beautiful die cut pattern. But if you don't have bins like that, a great place to check is the grocery store Aldi. My friend Hillary from my so-called home texted me about these bins. I'm using this one in my son's nursery and that'll be a whole separate video. But as you can see, it's got this beautiful die cut pattern. It's really big and it is super, super super sturdy. This was $3, but something like this at a retail store would easily be 12 to 15. They come in a whole bunch of different colors, including white. I just love the pattern on these. They have a bunch of different sizes. I love Aldi. It's great for so many things. If you have not been to an Aldi, you need to find one near you. One of my favorite tips that I recommend, probably more than anything, is getting an over-the-door shoe rack. The cheapest place to find it is Walmart. It's right around five dollars you're gonna to want to cut one of the columns off it's virtually going to double your space if it's bothering you that it's kind of flapping against the door just stick a little command strip on it to help hold it in place you will not regret having one of these for such a small investment Folding a fitted sheet is the worst. Can I get an amen? Maybe you're amazing, but I have tried to go online and look up how to fold a fitted sheet. I can't do it. Organize sheet sets in a pillowcase. Take all of the sheets, fold them haphazardly, and stick them in a pillowcase. Everything will stay together. It will still look neat in your linen cabinet, and it makes a perfect little file system in a small square bin, so you can easily grab the set out, and you don't have things falling all over the place. It's definitely the hack for lazy people. Actually, I'm not really lazy, I just really don't have time. <laughs> Target continues to impress me with their label selection. And for Valentine's Day, I was able to find these really substantial, sturdy chalk labels that are gonna last a long time, but they're always rotating these through with the seasons. So my friend loves doing nails with her daughter, so we have a little Dollar Tree caddy in one of the bigger baskets, so she can quickly take that out, do nails, but really easily put it away, and everything is contained and very neat looking. So recently, I went to Target, and I saw they had these bins in a bunch of different colors. It's kind of woven, they're a little bit bendable, and they have a pack of three of them for $3. So I took that pack into her bathroom for her cabinet. That's her guest bathroom and her daughter's bathroom, but it was very difficult for her girls to be able to get things down from there. So having things in those simple baskets, it's easy to pull down, and she also has space now to put away the toothbrush holder and the kids' soap dispenser when she has guests over. I always get a lot of questions about organizing under the sink. I would say when organizing under a bathroom sink, don't have any more than two layers of organization, otherwise it's so easy for it to get messy. And organize by rate of access. I love the really flexible Dollar Tree bins that she's using underneath of the sink. She has all of her daughter's hair stuff and towels behind it. And then in the master bathroom, she has bigger baskets, which are so easy to thrift, by the way. If you go to your local Salvation Army or Goodwill, you can find some really big, substantial, and quite beautiful baskets to keep underneath of your sink and that's a great option if you don't have a linen closet to actually keep towels underneath of there in a basket plus you can be pretty lazy with the folding and no one's gonna know so those are my quick tips for organizing linen closets and bathrooms I hope that these tips felt simple to you because the simpler an organizing system is the way more likely it's gonna work be sure to subscribe so I can catch you guys in my next video because I love making organizing videos and I will see you then God bless Bye.